people would be like, oh, you still talking about that? You don't get over that yet? Like, you can determine when I get over something that was meant to hold me. Like, looking like, you just won the Super Bowl. What are you gonna do next? We're going to Disney World. <laughs> Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl, it's your fave, Brianna Denny, and welcome back to another video. So this is gonna be a more chilled, relaxed video. We're gonna just be cleaning some makeup, ignore my hair. If you watch some of this vlog, you know the vibe. <laughs> but yeah, let's just, I have a plethora of new makeup in front of me. So let's get to it. Cause we just we just doing a little dibble dabble, putting away on some makeup. We're looking too serious. We ain't got nowhere going, but I wanted to test out some of these new products. So we're gonna be starting with the base, oldie but goodie. Well, not really old. I think this came out like last year. It's the Elf Power Grip Primer. This is the one with four percent niacinamide. So we're gonna just do the base with that. Y'all know, this is a fave of mine and it's only $10. So if you're looking for an affordable primer that's really good, check this one out. Definitely check this one out and then you bring it down to your neck because we don't need to be looking like we have a mask on so we bring our makeup down our neck yeah and then we do the brows you see it has that sticky let me see the girls do like this oh <laughs> so yeah that's how sticky it is so yeah next we do brows let me get a mirror. I'll be using the mirror in this Morphe palette. Put it right in front of me. So to do our brows, we're gonna be using, for the first time, these brow products from Urban Decay. We have the Brow Blade. We have Brow Gel, Tinted Brow Gel. And we have the Styling Brow Gel. So I think I'm gonna be using the brow blade and then the styling gel. So I never really used a brow gel before. This is in blackout, which is soft black. So I'm guessing I have to use a light hand. One side is a pencil and the next side is an ink stain child. So we will this is the ink stain side. We will stick to pencil. Can we know about pencil? And this is the pencil. This is the pencil side. And like I said, it's in blackout, which is a soft black color. Ooh, is it dark? Okay. But I use a light hand. And I think the ink pen is to make like hair like shows at the front. But I don't do my brows like that. I do me a good old 2016 brow. Because we love her. The whole feather brows or whatever else. Brow trend. The one way you make them look like hairs and stuff like that. The no brow brow. <laughs> uh, none of those should ever stuck with me. I feel like my brows look best. When I do me a good old 2016 brow. You get me? You get me. <laughs> I think we should chat while I do my brows, huh? I think we should. We used to the Anastasia brow we was having a spoolie at the other end of the brush of the brow pencil. But this one doesn't, so I'm gonna use this ceramic spoolie I found. Just two or three. Oh, it's an elf spoolie. 
don't even know where it came from. Maybe had it for years. Who knows? Okay, that's the brows fit. I'm gonna bring you guys a little closer because you guys need a close up of the brows, the eyes, stuff like that. So come a little closer. So I just bullied out the brows as you can see. And then this isn't a new product, but we're gonna be using the NARS Soft Matte Comfy Concealer in Dark Coffee. Power of the brows, you guys know. This is my jam. I use this all the time. Holy Grail. Yeah, let's chat. So, I know I'm really late chatting about this, but that Kevin Hart interview with Shannon Sharp that took the internet by storm. I loved every minute of it. I listened to the whole three hours and some change when I was cleaning the other day. Like, when it had just come out. Let me not say the other day. I watched it like literally. The day it came out and people were like talking about it. I went and I looked it up right away because I, I enjoyed Cat Williams as a comedian and the fact that he was like calling people out. <clears throat> I wanted to see what he had to say. But a lot of people focused on him calling people out, but a lot of people didn't really hone in and focus on the fact that Cat Williams is intelligent. He, well, he sounded intelligent, yeah. And like, he dropped some really good gems in there. And I'm just telling people, <laughs> telling people they're a fat phase on liar, and that <laughs> Steve Harvey's hair in the sitcoms he was in was a wig. He dropped some gems. So if you guys haven't watched the interview, you guys should. Then we're using our DSMD sponge to blend out the concealer. Yeah, you guys should watch the interview. You can you don't even have to like watch it. You could listen to it, put it on like if you listen to music at work or whatever. And if you listen to music, um, you could substitute the music for that episode. I don't know if I like how my brows look now. I haven't done my makeup in such a long time. I just don't know. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. You should be here. The song stuck in my head. Okay. I think it's because one brow was significantly thicker than the other. That's how much throwing me off. Next topic. Y'all seen Gypsy Rose has been released from prison and everybody's just like she a celebrity now. <laughs> It's so weird how people become like celebrity status in America. Like, I don't know. But she was invited to, I guess, host the baddies reunion. And she turned him down and she was like, yeah, basically. That's not what she's going for. Like, that's not her brand. She didn't even see her brand, but, like, that's not the type of person that she is. After watching what goes on on Baddies, she, and it seemed to me like she, like, respectfully declined the inf information, the invitation. But that got the, and then she posted about it on social media. She was like, yeah, that's not what she going for. That's not her thing. And that highly offended, I think, Natalie. Because she's the one in charge of, like, baddies. Now, I never watched one episode of baddies. 
East, West, not so Caribbean. I see they're trying to come up with a Caribbean with nobody from the Caribbean, which don't make no sense. Never watched a single episode. But I, I did watch, I used to watch, you know, Bad Girls Club, which is what it's based off of, I'm thinking, because Natalie was on Bad Girls Club. That's how everybody know about Natalie Nunn from Bad Girls Club. Sorry if I seem a bit low energy. It's because I kind of am. I've been running around all day doing stuff, and then I just got done editing. Anyway, next we're going to try to get these brows in place with the slick day brow styling and setting gel it says it's a stronghold so it's like a little comb you see it? You see? You see? Mm -hmm. but yeah apparently gypsy rose offended Natalie and them by saying that's not her MO, that's not how she, that's just not how she rolls. I just keep putting music on everything, but yeah, I guess it offended him. And Natalie was like basically threatening Gypsy. Natalie and I, I know Natalie playing big and bad and all that, but you won't go against somebody who unalive their mother. Big mother, crazy, mad, I would never. <laughs> I don't think Gypsy is the one you want to play with. The one, not the two. But I guess getting the, um, Natalie trying to prove that she's big and bad and never scared. And me and now, the girls are done. Some kind of out child, I don't know. I think it's because I need to do my eyebrows. This eyebrow looking like slight disaster. So let's do the eyes now. I have to do my eyes this Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Color. So it's in strapless. This is a shade. This is it here. But before I apply that, what am I going to concealer? With a base. But yeah, like I was saying, Natalie is basically certain in Gypsy. And it looks like Natalie, I don't think that's a tree you want to bark up. Okay? Okay? Gypsy is fresh out. I mean, I guess it's because she feels she wouldn't want to go back in, but she's conspired with her ex-boyfriend to unalive her mom. Is that the smoke that you want? I don't think so. I, I wouldn't want that smoke personally. Like, mm -mm, get somebody else to do it. <laughs> What else is going on in the world? Oh, Haley, Holly, Bailey, got a baby boy. I mean, all year, people were speculating last year, basically all year, that she was pregnant. And I'm just like, even if she is pregnant, mind your own uterus. They're like she don't know why she hiding it and feeling it, feeling it, hiding it so badly. If she wanted to hide her bump, she wanted to hide her bump. If she didn't want to talk about her pregnancy, she didn't want to talk about her pregnancy. People to me are they, they feel so entitled to like celebrities' lives. Like if she wanted to be pregnant in peace and private, she could be pregnant in peace and private. I wanted to be pregnant in peace and private, but you guys know how that went. <laughs> It's just let people announce things in their own time. Cause when she was ready to announce that she had a baby and introduce the world to her baby, she did. I don't know what's the big thing with rushing people into announcing their big news or feeling entitled to people's big news. I don't know, people are weird or like announcing people's big news for them. 
But I'm not even gonna set up a TNA hat. Somebody basically tell the wall. At least the people that know me and know of me know who I am and where I'm from. Big announcement that I was expecting. And it's like, be for real. <laughs> Like if I wanted people to know how to tell them, you try and be malicious and announce my news for me. And people would be like, oh, you still talking about that? You don't get over that yet? Like, you can't determine when I get over something that was meant to hurt me. Like, that was meant to hurt me and to break me and to probably even make me lose my baby. The stress of it all. Because it's like, where I come from out of the blue. Like, I wasn't talking to nobody, wasn't talking about nobody, wasn't doing nothing to nobody. Just minding my pregnant business, report, reporting my pregnant self to work, going around my pregnant way. I didn't even mention it on my YouTube channel. All I was saying is I was sick, which I was, and just. Minding my pregnant business, but some people just wicked. E e <laughs> yeah, just got some bad minded people out there. And oh, that was the number twenty six brush from Sephora, one of the Sephora Pro brushes in number twenty six. That's the crease brush. So this is how the lids look. Next, I'm gonna use this Lily Lashes Power Liner in black. It's like a lash liner and adhesive. This is also very new. Mm, but yeah, Holly got her baby and she announced it when she was ready. She introduced him to the world when she was ready. And I like how she captioned it, saying the world is desperate to meet you because facts is all going on. Like, how you telling them she pregnant with pain? Well, I guess some of them, like, have boys and stuff that would pay their bills, but like, I don't know. People need to get a life. People really need to get a life. We all have talking people business like you're paying them bills. I could understand like if it actually pays your bills. <laughs> but yeah. You can ask anybody around me, like if you don't want them to do me, I don't care. I legit don't be caring. <laughs> like if you don't want them to do me, my child, my husband, my mother or my brother. All my cousins and my aunts, like my family. I don't care. And what about it? <laughs> For the lashes, we're gonna be wearing Lily Lashes and Sephora collection in Beverly Drive. Beverly Hills. That's where I'm be. Living in Beverly Hills. Let me get a tweezers and I'll be back. Alright, we back. Got the tweezers. I usually trim down my lashes, but I'm just putting these on for shits and gigs to get me. This is like a real deal thing. It was a real deal. I had to trim these down and all that good stuff. But these fit my eye pretty well. Like, I don't think. I would have to trim this down. Let's see. Oh, and my liner is pretty good too. I think it just stuck on. Nice, nice. This is like therapy for me. Put it on makeup. I should do start doing like those makeup therapy videos where I just uh, do my makeup with like soothing music playing in the background. 
if you guys are interested in that sort of thing let me know down below i can do like different makeup looks just not talking just makeup and vibes this is how the lashes look mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's move on to our base the foundation we'll be using is the KVD Good Apple Foundation and I got it in the shade Deep 088. It says shape well. This is what it looks like. I think it's a bit olive for me, but let's see. I can usually finesse, you know? I did two pumps because it's a it claims to be full coverage. So yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a bit olive. Oh Lord, Lord. It really is full coverage. <laughs> Look at that. Kind of smell. I kind of have a fragrance to it. I can't quite put my finger on it. It's kind of like soapy. Yeah, it is. Pretty olive undertone. It's not bad though. I can finesse. I can finesse. Let me zoom us out a little bit so that you can see my forehead instead of my forehead cut out. I know my forehead big, but you'll have to deal with it today. <laughs> okay, see, it's a bit olive, like yellowy undertone. I think it's okay. It's finessable. It's finessable. Bring it down your neck because like I said, you don't want to be looking like you have on a mask. Given the mask or sun of the mask. Okay. It's dark outside and it's just 6 or 2. Crazy. They haven't gotten used to that and that happens every year. <laughs> Happens every year. Catch me off guard every time. So you see how the two pumps cover everything. So cool. Next we're going to do the Good Apple by the same KVD. This is the lightweight full coverage concealer in tan 177. This is what it looks like. And since it is full coverage, I'm gonna do like what the TikTok girlies do and just do those two little lines. Like here and here. Yeah, and then under. This is a good highlight color. Here and here. Is it giving? I can't tell. I feel like I just wiped it all away. Let me see. Mm. I think I need more. This is how the applicator looks. I think I should let it dry down a bit. And I need it more on that one color. I'm gonna need more on the color. So I'm gonna apply them more now. So let's blend. Let's do it here. So now on the eye, we're going in with the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder in the color. Transistent medium deep. If you guys want to get this and get free shipping, you can use my code for the screen. But I'll tell you what it is anyway. The code is Brianna Denae, and you can get free shipping on your Laura Mercier products if you shop directly on the website. They will give you free shipping. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely 
Use the code Brianna Denny. Okay. Okay. Next topic. So, also on TikTok, the girlies have been debating or going back and forth about clustering. Look at that. Anyway, yeah, clusterings. If you like it, I love that for you. Or for me. No, ma'am. <laughs> no, ma'am. I thank God. My husband has taste and they didn't get me. One of those big ass Super Bowl ass rings. <laughs> And he got me a cute halo design, which is right up my alley and exactly what I like. I don't know, cluster rings just, they're too gaudy, they're too big and gaudy and uh, ugh. they're not cute. No clustering I've ever seen has been cute. But I silver, gold, royal gold, platinum, none of them have been cute. And like I said on Instagram, I'll take a Pandora ring over a clustering. Because number one, the diamonds in clustering. Aren't even like diamonds. I think they call them like diamond dust. <laughs> or uh, you could get a thin hole. Nice. Even even if you were Adrian spent a lot of money in for a ring, like single stone ring. Like what's wrong with simple rings? When you have this big ass ring on your hand, like as a lady. <laughs> as a lady. Why you have this big ass ring on your hand? Looking like, you just won the Super Bowl. What are you going to do next? We won a Disney World. <laughs> That's literally what close rings get. Oh, and they also say, they were saying that cluster rings are like, They call it cluster rings shut up rings. So like, I don't want to cluster ring. <laughs> What's the what? I didn't ask. My husband won't never marry me and marry He been like, woman to get married. I want to marry you before I even take you serious. And then, one day I was like, I told him the next time he asked me, the answer might be yes. Because he's been asking me, like, before we even get engaged, like, I feel like two months in into our relationship. Oh, I'm using the thinness on my rigs, the contour bomb. I feel like, two, like two months into our relationship, man is just asking me to marry him. <laughs> No more, I do need to do this, I can do that. How long have I been in here filming? Hmm, why was she the thing or something? But it now make them want to marry me. <laughs> why? But yeah, like, two months into our relationship, he was asking me to marry me. I'm like, he's joking, he playing. Engaged. My friend shot on the like, yeah, now he comes to my super because he been saying that he wanna marry you, he didn't marry you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just waiting to see if you're not taking you on. <laughs> Cause she know me, like I always on jokes time. So I take nothing. Nothing serious. Nothing. Yeah, when you were asking me, I want jokes then. I want to get free. I thought you want jokes then too, to be honest. You think you were the first person to say, oh, I'm going to marry you, and then I'm going to 
but my mom was serious. <laughs> my boy was serious. I'm gonna bronze. So I'm gonna use this new bronzing brush number 80 from the Sephora Pro Collection. And I'm gonna use up to this palette. But yeah, and to cross the rings, they're just ugly. <laughs> the long one shot, they ugly. Never seen a cute one to this day. To this day, never seen a cute close to me to this day. <laughs> but like I said, I ain't not gonna be broke like their cross the rings. I have to go for um. The comments that I get up to say she would never take off her hair. I wish I have a ring, yada 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 yada. Okay, boo. I have one too. It's not a cluster. <laughs> Let's spread it down with some morphe. I'm going to try a bit. I was also watching where the YouTuber to watch. He was like talking about different hot topics and stuff like I really enjoy watching him his name is where I need a voice like I don't I don't, I don't like watch I don't watch like reality shows so I don't watch Bell Collective I don't watch real, none of the real housewives I don't watch Married to Medicine none of them but I don't watch his commentary on it so I know everything that's going on in those shows even I never watch one episode myself but I like how he commentates stuff, so I will just watch whatever videos he come up with. But he needed to, he does like celebrity gossip. So the video I watched today, he was talking about how, okay, on the lips, we're using the Rare Beauty Kind Watch Crayon in the Strong. So this is the box. And then this is the Kutsu. So yeah, he was talking about how Doja Cat's mom had a court case against her brother trying to get a restraining order. Ooh, I like this. It's like a true brown. Trying to get a restraining order against him or something like that. Cause he is A B U S I V E. So he, she tried to get a restraining order against him. So in the court that came to talking about all the stuff that he do and apparently he hit Doja Cat in the mouth and knocked out her teeth. I don't know if that's being exaggerated but knock out teeth is crazy. And like Rodney say, allegedly. <laughs> I don't understand how does like I have money and people knocking on her teeth and just walking around like everything all fine and dandy. If I had the money those I had had. You think anyone was knocking out my teeth and then walking in the pack like nothing wrong? That Ronnie said you have 48 hours to get your life right <laughs> to either skedaddle or just skedaddle because give again hands a person a little two thousand three thousand dollars change and like he say i ain't want him to kill you god at the end of the day you're my brother but you don't get up you don't have to walk around with a limb a broken hand something something allegedly <laughs> On the lips, I'm gonna put Guava Lip Gloss by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm trying out new things. So, whereas I would usually go with Deep Taupe Lip Gloss, let's try Guava. It's more like a paler pink. See if I like that. Ah, it's getting white out. <laughs> it's giving chalk. Let's see. If I can make some, these are some thick lip glosses. See if I can make something shake. I don't think I like this lip gloss consistency because why is it doing that? Look. Not looking fine on camera. 
with embossing. It like don't have any lip gloss there and then the lip gloss out in there. But yeah. Like he said, you knock my teeth loose, I don't gonna knock some of your teeth loose too. But I wasn't putting my hand on you. Cause I'm not breaking any of Okay, it's coming together. And then we're gonna just use some of this highlighter from in here. Cause I don't have any new highlighter. Oh, and blush from in here. Do I have any blush? I don't have any blush. So we're gonna use this blush here. This one in right here. Together. Oh my god. Look how I got him from talking about knocking people teeth loose. <laughs> to singing gospel. We love a multifaceted queen. <laughs> I think I put on too much blush on the one side. Oh well. Oh well. Because I'm already. When you tell he like something he ain't really care about, when you tell he like I can beat you, okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> the first time he said, I don't know, that just take on into my car. He said, okay, well. So now. When you have me see me. Okay, well. My arm on I don't know where my highlights are brushes, so I just, I'm just gonna take some of my finger and pat it one. Tap, tap, tap. Here we go. Hmm. And I feel like when you tap in the highlight, it gives it a more subtle look. Empty hues. I usually tap in my highlight these days when I do my makeup. I think the last time I wore makeup was for holiday photos. And that was December 14th. Yeah, December 14th. And it's now warm. What's today's date? January 20th. So it's been a month since I wore makeup. It's not bad, not bad at all. What are we doing with the hair girls? So to set my face, we're going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Guys, I have this so long and it's only like half done. Because to show how little I do my makeup. I don't even know why I'm setting it with it. my good up good up spray. And I have more tea and I have Mix. I don't know why I use my expensive good up, good up spray. Where am I going? Where am I going? No. I'm not even still like trying something new. I know how it works. I know. And if you guys watch my vlog, you'll have seen that. I hate that much my hair, so let's keep the party going. Why don't we? Because I'm gonna like take some pictures and stuff of my face. Because I'm cute. I don't even know if I was talking loud enough for this video. We'll see when I go at it. I may have to turn it up. And then when I go to go out, I go get it well. Touch it, bring it, babe. Crack it, energy. Yes. My scalp is so clean. Thank God. It's been like two months. You know how dirty your scalp can do? Two months, bro. And I've been holding out washing my hair because I didn't want my silk brush to go away. And I talked to soon because it looks like it's not gonna go away 100%. <laughs> I showed my best friend Shafan. I mean, he damaged, like I sent her a picture. She 
was like, just give it some TLC, it'll be back. And she answered me after I applied more heat. <laughs> I was like, well, well, I don't know what to tell you, but I think I messed it up further. When I knew my hair was heat damaged in the shower, when I was washing it, was when the water was running through it, and I was like washing it, so I'm like scrubbing my scalp, and I was not feeling it like fluff up. She was curly, but she was very limp. Like I tell you guys, and like you guys see, my hair usually has a lot of life to it. It stands up, it don't lay down. So when my hair was still laying down after applying water directly to it, I was like, yeah. She done for. <laughs> it's a wrap for you, baby. And just do a little cockatoot at the back. The cockatoot. And then flat iron this piece to the front, to the front. In front of the day, in front of the day. A flat iron to my hair always gets so shiny. Sorry. Everything I'm seeing because. Just a singing girl. But shiny if it comes from Moana. My daughter watches Moana. <laughs> so things my daughter likes to watch. I would say she likes to watch Moana, but she'll watch it for a while. But she likes to watch Rio, Rio 2, Toy Story 1, 2, 3, and 4. For some reason, she likes Young Sheldon. I haven't quite figured out why yet. And then like the usual baby stuff. So like the hey bear sensory videos. Miss Rachel. But I think like her patience for Miss Rachel is running out. Cause she doesn't like sit and watch it like she used to. But yeah, those are the few of her favorite things. And I think this is what I got in my hair. All I can give you guys, and my battery's gonna die. My camera and my mom is gonna die, so. This is the final look. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and sticking it through till the end if you have. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Join us here in the gang gang. Because you know and I know so everybody should know that we live over here. Therefore, go ahead and share this video with your family and friends. On all your social socials, including but not limited to. Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, TikTok, whatever you have. Go ahead and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a family member to join us. And they can do so by doing all the things that I said previously. Also, if you want to follow me, your girl, Brianna Danae, on all socials, all of that will be down in the description box down below for your easy convenience. Now this bear beach, definitely looking like a bear beach right now. Mother and wife, gotta go. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye, toodaloo.